This is the X Moe RX3 and this is the first um, gaming headset that we're gonna check out on a budget that has an extended mic. So this might be really usable for gaming because uh, usually extended mics um, gives you better sound quality because the mic is closer to your mouth. So we're gonna put this um, through its paces, um, use it for some gaming and uh, is it worth it? We're gonna find out in this review. Of course, big thanks to Gadget Hunter themselves for sending this over. Um, links down below for their shop. So we have the X Moe um, logo at the top, RX3, dual microphone gaming headset, detachable HD long mic. So this is the unique selling point here. Um, so we're gonna figure out if this sounds nice here. Dual microphone made for gaming um, circuit with HD voice mic. And at the other side, you're getting um, 10 millimeter um, High fidelity speaker built in um, ANC active noise reduction microphone. So what's really interesting here is, uh, yeah, you're getting that you know longer mic here, and uh, it will be closer to your mouth. And usually for mics, if it is you know closer to your mouth, it's gonna be better sounding. So that's the rule of thumb for mics. You need to get it closer to the source, so um, you will have you know better noise floor, crisper sound. So opening it up so this is gonna be your unboxing experience all right so I got the green version and uh, this is kind of a razor green version here so in the box you're getting additional tips and also a mic clip as well you're getting your manuals and uh, yeah that's the portrait of your mic itself you're getting an extension cable uh, for use with your PC so looking at the build quality I was actually surprised that you have a braided cable here so that's uh, quite cool you have some reinforcements here as well and you're actually getting a really big um, you know, mic module here. So one of the bigger ones that I have seen. And looking at the lobes itself, it's actually a big lobe here. One of the bigger ones, if not the biggest that I have seen in the channel. So you're getting your hooks, uh, which is nice, which can be stable to wear on the ear. So you're getting uh, plastic sides as well. So not the best in build quality here. But yeah, for the price that you're paying for, um, you know, I didn't expect that much. It's quite light as well. So again, not the best. In terms of the fitting, it's actually angled here. So um, this might be similar to the fit of your maybe Xiaomi Piston Fits or AKG earphones. So um, this might fit well on the ear, especially with that you know ear hooks. And I believe that you need this um, you know longer lobes uh, for you to be able to fit the mic in. And now this is the mic itself, and it's actually removable, so that's nice. So maybe if you broke your mic in the future, you can replace this, or you can also um, you know just use the earphones by itself. So that's cool actually. You have an option to go to you know this kind of uh, mic scenario uh, which can give you better sound quality um, especially when you're at home and you're playing and you have an option as well to go to this one if you're um, on the go if you're outside you know if you're gonna answer a call from a commute um this will be better because yeah you want to look that nice if you have this um, on your ear when you're doing a commute. So it's nice that you have two options here. So this is what the headset um, looks like. So you're getting that elongated mic here. And uh, it's not that far off from your mouth. And frankly speaking, um, on the ear, um, it's pretty stable. Because of that fins, um, it stays on your ear nicely. And if you look at the mic here, um, you know, it is stable as well. Um, so even if you move around, the mic won't move um, with you. So maybe my only issue is the overall build quality. Of course, it's plasticky. So comfort in this is actually pretty good. Um, so because it's not a headphone, um, it's an earphone, it's quite breathable on the ear. So you can game for this for a long listening session. And uh, it's uh, quite light as well. So it, that all plastic uh, build quality uh, makes it light on the ear. So you can wear this for a long listening session. And another thing that I like about this is the volume controls in the headset as well. It's a slider and I kind of prefer that. So it's easier for you to, you know, uh, move a volume up and volume down as well. So um, yeah, it's definitely better compared to buttons for me. It's easier to, you know, um, change up your volume in this. Um, I would say I like this even more than the rollers. So yeah, slider for me is the way to go for gaming. First, it is the mic quality of the X Moe RX3 as well. So it's actually pretty clear. So you can definitely understand it. And the advantage of this is the mic won't move even if you move around. So if you're outside, if you're playing outside, um, this won't be an issue for you um, even if you move around. But yeah, for me, even if it's clear, um, it lacks a bit of bass for me. But yeah, I think uh, for the usage of this, uh, for some Zoom calls, for some Discord, this won't be an issue uh, because it's quite clear in the mix and you can definitely understand what I am saying. Alright, so now let's listen to a few tracks and give you the sound quality impressions. Alright, so first impressions, the sound stage is quite big on this. And the bass here is quite big in the mix as well. 
But frankly speaking, this is not an overly bassy pair. So it has a slight um, base elevation, but it's not overly bassy here. So this is a U-shape um, that's fairly balanced with maybe a bit of base elevation at the bottom. It has some boom to it, uh, but not overly boomy for me. So there's even some shimmer on top here. So definitely this doesn't sound muffled, which is quite surprising for, you know, this kind of price range. But yeah, definitely for the vocal, it's not the most revealing here. Um, so it has a bit of veil to it. So let's try some chunky Bruno Mars. I'm not encountering any fatigue as well, so that's good for gaming. So if you play for a long, you know, gaming session, you won't have any issue with the uh, fatigue here. In terms of detail, um, this is not the most detailed pair as well. Um, so the detail is below average in this. And yeah, the vocal for me is still quite thin for me in the mix. All right, now, so that's my initial impressions and the sound quality. So I won't delve into the sound quality of this that much because, uh, yeah, this is a gaming pair. Uh, but uh, yeah, for the sound quality, um, it's passable for the price that you're paying for. Um, but this won't, you know, beat out your TR and MT ones. This is more of a bassy pair. Um, something that you can use for some fun listening, but uh, yeah, for some casual listening, I will still prefer the tier and MT ones of the world. Um, let's talk about the gaming performance. So I played some CSGO with this um, solely and uh, yeah, for CSGO, it's very important for you to locate the footsteps. So for me, actually, surprisingly, it's decent. Um, this is um, locating the footsteps. So the sound stage is quite big and it helped me to um, you know locate uh, positioning easier so imaging is actually not the best here so i would say average in the imaging but because of that bigger stage it helps me to find the footsteps a bit easier separation is average as well so um you know it's not that black and white so when i was gaming i can um sort of uh, find uh, the ballpark of the position uh, but it's not that black and white so you can definitely survive with it um, if you're gonna you know play some pubg if you're gonna play um, some maybe COD, um, it might work for you, but of course this won't win you any awards. But the key thing here for me is uh, this is just $6. And for $6, um, this is already very good for me. Also in terms of gaming comfort, um, this is actually very good. So it's not the most revealing pair uh, for your casual listening, but because of that, because it's not the most revealing for gaming, it's actually good because you won't get any fatigue when gaming with it for a long listening session. And the gunfire there, um, you know, sometimes can be piercing in some um, headsets. Uh, but for this one, I don't have any major issues on that. Alright, so verdict for the X-Movie RX3. So I think for $6, um, this is well worth the price that you're paying for. So first, uh, what I really like about this is you have that mic, that elongated mic. And it will give you consistent uh, mic quality when you're doing some gaming. Um, talking to Discord uh, with your friends or even doing some Zoom calls and it's clear enough as well. So, um, you know, for that usage, it's very nice. Gaming uh, performance as well is pretty good on this. Um, so, you know, you can locate the ballpark of the positioning of the footsteps. It's non-fatiguing to, um, you know, game with for a long listening session. So for me, uh, maybe just one of my issues is the build quality. So I'm not 100% sure how long this will last, um, especially if you're, you know, gonna use this every single day. But the rest for me is pretty good on this. Um, I like the overall performance of this, especially for gaming. For some casual listening, of course, um, this is just so-so. Um, I would recommend other um, IEMs here in this channel. On this budget, I will recommend the TRN MT1. Or if you can go up a bit, uh, maybe the QKZ VK4 um, might be a better pick for sound quality. So it's usable, um, especially for some casual listening, but uh, there are other um, earphones that's better for casual listening compared to this. But for gaming, I would recommend this. All right, so that's my review of the XMOVI RX3. Of course, if you learn something, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And of course, we review on audio gear here in this channel. So make sure you're subscribed for more content like this in the future. And thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.